Full maintenance. Where's the usual guy? At home, puking. Bad goulash. We're booked up all week, man. Then come back next week. All right. They spotted us. What do we do? Good to go back there? Yes, yes, yes. All units were go, go, go. company to the left. Face of action. Oh, shit. Where does that lead to? It's an exit to the east. This to the main highway. Back up. Back up! Next one's for you, General.
You guys might want to look behind you. Again with the bait and switch routine. How many times do you think that was going to work? Captain Larkin, ain't those poodle always yapping at my heels? You're not going to kill me. You want to take me back alive? I didn't say you'd be able to walk. Pick a kneecap. Put your guns down. Put your hands behind your back. Arkady Vagutin, I'm arresting you oh, yes, yes, on behalf yes, yes, of the yes, International yes. Criminal Tribunal on charges of torture, genocide, and crimes against humanity. Kill me now when you have the chance or you wish you had. You think I fear death? Turn around. I am a soldier. Yeah? Yeah. You're not a soldier. You're not even a human being. Arkady Dragutin, you and your followers persecuted the minorities of the former Yugoslavia, driving them from their homes so you could establish the so-called Greater Serbia. You ordered and took part in the rape, torture, and mass execution of innocent civilians. For these crimes against humanity, the court sentences you to spend the rest of your life in prison. This is an outrage. I, I am a soldier who did his duty to the Serbian nation. You will not be eligible for parole. NATO are the criminals. They are the ones who bombed Belgrade. You are the puppets of NATO and the US and the Catholic Church. The I prisoner will, will be silent. will rip the heart out of Europe the way NATO ripped the heart out of Serbia. I, Dragutin, I pass sentence on you. That's the uniform that actually suits you. Why are you here? Are you, you here because you need company? No, you're here to gloat. Okay, do what you have time. 55 years is plenty of time. I am guilty of nothing, just loving my people. <laughs> right, and the thousands you murdered. Many were sacrificed on both sides. I just fight harder. Yeah, that's all bullshit. You think you're a hero? You think you're a martyr? You're not. You know what you are? Tell me. You're a common thug. You enjoy your four walls. Oh, then your man Petrovich will be joining you shortly. We're closing in on him. No, 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 no. Marky, no. It is Petrovich who is closing in on you. Right. With the notorious warlord Arkady Dragutin behind bars, the U.S. President Harriet Roundtree will be on her way to Serbia to discuss its role in NATO. Russian Defense Minister Dmitry Kaczynski describes Russia's position as unconcerned. For Channel 7 Plus News, Francesca Romero. <laughs> Before any of you ask, let me answer the main question. Of course Serbia can join NATO. Serbia is a sovereign state, 
Free to choose. We have common enemies. Terrorists, fundamentalists, fanatics. Who knows? Someday, maybe Russia will join NATO too. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kaczynski, uh, you're, uh, you're widely known as a friend to the West. Uh, how do you think that could possibly affect your own prospects of someday becoming Russia's president? I serve the Russian people. I have no ambition for power. I do this job for money. Like all of you. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Kaczynski, Mr. Kaczynski. Mr. I'm so sorry. I, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll grab it. No, 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 I'll grab a napkin. Or... Allow me. Miss Romero, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Stephen Featherston, UK Foreign and Commonwealth Office, Diplomatic Corps. Oh, don't worry about Sergei. He's used to women throwing drinks over him. Hmm. You know, for a diplomat, you're not terribly diplomatic. No, but I do get things done. You should call me if you ever have any problems with bureaucracy. You know, I don't get a lot of problems with bureaucracy. Really? Mm. You've never been tied up in red tape? No. I'm sorry, is this man bothering you? Uh, no, no, not really. Well, he's bothering me. <laughs> Would you excuse us? Please. Featherston, we are supposed to be building bridges with the Russians. I know that, ma'am, but we shouldn't take the Americans for granted. We already have good relations with the States. In fact, it's called the Special Relationship. I was just hoping to make it a little more special. You? Are you responsible for catering? That'll only be a matter of time. I'll leave this one to you, Featherston. What is this? I believe it's beluga caviar. It's not beluga caviar. It's something I would scrape off my shoe. You eat it. Who's American girl? What American girl? <laughs> I've missed you, Stephen. You told no one we were meeting? We don't have to keep this secret. I'm supposed to build bridges with the Russians. In fact, I can feel another bridge building right now. <clears throat> Stephen, wait. We need to talk. Sorry. So, how's life at the Kremlin? What's it like working for Kaczynski? It doesn't matter. The FSB is going to kill him. Kill him? But your FSB? Not all FSB. Hardcore. Stalinist. They don't want Serbia and NATO. They think Kaczynski is too friendly to West. They want to replace him. They want to replace whole government. They plan crisis in Moscow so they can seize power. Who does? Who's behind it? I don't know. I think Medyev. Kaczynski's assistant? I'm sure it's him. Who else have you told about this? No one. I don't know who's working with Medyev. I cannot even get close enough to Kaczynski to warn him. But you can. You are the only man I trust, Stephen. No one must know I told you. No one will. I promise. My general, I salute you. Keep moving.
You know, we could offer you asylum, new identity, job. Russian girl in London, what would I do? Become lap dancer, clean flats? <laughs> you could do both at the same time. <laughs> Petrovich, Lieutenant Petrovich, this is the general. Everything is proceeding as you planned. Good, good, good. You, you know what to do? Yes, general. Understood. See you soon, sir. Good picture. You have no idea how hard it is to get good rye bread in Serbia. You the Americans take all the choices you have for granted. Once your husband has finished the job for us, we will leave, and you will never see us again. What are you doing? Colonel Walsh, sir. How's it going? I didn't know we had any maintenance scheduled for this evening. Uh, emergency recall on the oxygen tanks, sir. Seems they don't make them like they used to. Don't leave any wrenches rattling around in there, okay? <laughs> I'll endeavor to avoid that, sir. Doctors have declared you fit for duty? Just some bruising, mild concussion. Apparently I have quite a thick skull. Yes. I didn't need a medical report to tell me that. Don't. This won't take long. You abandoned an official reception for a tryst with a Russian intelligence operative. Who warned me about the Medyev conspiracy. They are planning a coup d'etat at the Kremlin. Alexei Medyev was working for us. It took the Special Intelligence Service the best part of a decade to get him to that position. And now, thanks to your indiscretion, he's being replaced. Uh, Irena was genuinely frightened. She duped you, Featherstone. Someone at the Kremlin wanted to get rid of Medyev. And you gave them the pretext I'm sorry. I believed I was doing the right thing for our country. Oh, please. You fancy yourself as some kind of maverick. God's gift to intelligence. I'm transferring you, Featherstone. Somewhere with fewer opportunities to compromise national security. Well, shut the door on your way out.
Baby? No. <laughs> and then he cried, help! <laughs> Welcome aboard, Madam President. Thank you, Colonel Walsh. How are Nomsa and the kids? Nomsa's fine. Doomy starts flight school this fall. Really? Well, wish him well for me. His dad's a tough act to follow. Thank you, ma'am. Have a pleasant flight. I'm sure I will. Thank you. Senator. Colonel. Senator. Madam President. Is a seat taken? My informant says Petrovich is holed up inside. Get his face memorized? Remember, we take him alive if possible. Dead if we have to. The war is over. Why are we chasing this guy? Petrovich was Dragutin's right hand man. If it was up to him, the war's just begun. Keep your head down. This guy's a killer. Someone's been here.
Americans dead. Let Petrovich know and let's clear up. He's upstairs. Ivan! 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 Tell Petrovich I'm coming for him. Tower, this is Air Force One. Request permission to proceed. Taxi to runway 02, take off at your discretion. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, good morning. Madam President. Ah, new blood. Romero, isn't it? Madam President, yes. Uh, Channel 7 Plus News. Glad you could join us. Makes for a nice change. <laughs> Air Force One, this is Washington Central Control. Telemetrics indicate all dynamics, comms, countermeasures, functioning A-OK. -okay. Roger that, Control. All systems shown green here. Air Force One is rolling. My name's Captain Markey. I'm seconded to the International Criminal Tribunal. Please, this way, Captain Markey. I'm uh, sorry about the state of the place. When I arrived, the staff here were growing marijuana in the gardens. Not even very good marijuana, but we do have whiskey. So, Stephen Featherstone, UK Foreign Commonwealth Office. How can I help? 
Okay. I came here to arrest a war criminal called Petrovich with the help of the local police, but they were infiltrated by Petrovich's men. And now they're trying to kill me. Sounds serious. It is. It's just one thing I'm not clear about, Captain Markey. How exactly is this my fault? Keep your head. Are you sure they're local police? They do seem rather methodical. Hey, is that rifle work over there? I believe so. I'm not back in five minutes. I'm not coming back. Wait, what's the plan? Go out there and shoot back. That's your plan? To charge them head on? You have a better idea. You're right, that was a better plan. Strictly speaking, it was the only plan. I know this guy. Fought with Petrovich. Christ, I'm gonna be writing reports till Christmas. Somebody shoots up your embassy and you're worried about paperwork? I'm a British diplomat, Captain Markey. Contrary to popular belief, we've never just shot the locals for sport. No, that's why you had the British Army. Look, this is really none of my business. You think? But I've never even heard of this man, Petrovich. Why would he send someone to kill me? Like you said, it really is none of my business. Captain, wait. Where are you going? Going after Petrovich. What, by yourself? How are you even gonna find him? I'll ask him why he sent those guys after you. Or you could. You're pretty good in the corner. I'll need someone to look after the paperwork when this is all over. If I abandon my post, it'll be the end of my career. Fine. Stay here. Write London for help. Maybe no one else will try to kill you while you're waiting. Stick shifts. Well, for goodness sake, move over.
The Serbs want weapons and technology, and they know we want air bases. I'm not sure we do, Hank. Madam President, I'm sorry. We don't want air bases that close to the Russian border. Dmitry Kozinski is the most Western friendly defense minister Russia's ever had. We park airplanes in his front yard. He's going to look weak at home. Okay, we're in. What's it doing? It's all clear. Washington Central, we now have multiple systems alerts. Well done, English. Good job. I've control of the FS-1. Dropping her down to 3,000 feet. feet and descending. Release the gas. Put him to sleep. Danger. Decompression. Danger. Decompression. Decompression. Danger. Decompression. Washington Control, Air Force One, please respond. me dead, Petrovich. Who is he? He used to break legs for Dragutin. Thugs, drug dealers. Till the war came, then they put on uniforms and raped and murdered and called it patriotism. How come you're still chasing them? The Irish army were peacekeepers for the UN. And when they left, I stayed on to tie up some loose ends. You're really an Irishman? I am. Yeah, I left America when they kicked me out of the army. Why'd the U.S. Army throw you out? I'm kind of allergic to orders. The Irish Army doesn't give orders. 
They just don't get so wound up when you ignore them. <laughs> what about you? How'd you get posted to the ass end of nowhere? A uh, minor lapse of judgment. Oh yeah, did you use the wrong fork at an embassy reception? <laughs> Diplomacy is not just about etiquette. It's about knowing your enemy and what pushes his buttons. Yeah, how's that work exactly? I wouldn't expect an Irishman to understand. <laughs> Pull over. See, that's how it works. No, pull over. It says we're here. Where is here, exactly? You hear that? Force one. It sure looks like it. One place we stay busy. Okay, room clear. It's uh Okay, take her. We have her. Come on guys, hurry, hurry. Petrovich, it has to be. How the hell did he pull this off? Shit, there's no signal. How do we get word out? What we need is a satellite phone. Good idea. Do you have one? No. But they do. I just think we might draw less attention to ourselves without a corpse-shaped dent in the bonnet. Relax. I do this for a living.
Yes, Mr. Vice President, it's confirmed. Air Force One, the crew, the passengers, all missing and unaccounted for. We've got 12 minutes before the Americans get us out to light over here. No radio contact, no transponder, telemetry's dead, and we've lost the satellite uplink. Scramble every strike group within range to sweep the area visually. So we know the second the strike group makes visual contact. Air Force One, please respond. Vector now, nothing on radar. I have visual on Air Force One. Repeat, I have visual on Air Force One. What have we got? Still dock on radar. No transponder signal. Take her down. 200 knots, altitude 2,000 feet in descending, telemetry still offline. Can we get through to the flight deck? Air Force One is in a rapid descent. She's losing height fast. Air Force One, this is Washington Central Control. Over. Air Force One, please respond. This is Air Force One. Sorry, Washington, I'm up the fast out. Air Force One, you're losing altitude. Level out immediately and climb to 12,000 feet. Roger that, Washington. Fine, 1,000 feet. 600 feet still losing altitude rapidly. Air Force One, pull up. Repeat, pull up. Autopilot won't come. Increase the thrust. Manual control, non-responsive. Got the Washington, this is Fast Eagle One. Air Force One is down. Repeat, Air Force One is down. No survivors, Washington. Nothing could survive an impact like that. What the hell is going on? Who are you? Where are the others? Sir, this is Crystal. The president is awake. Blood pressure normal, no side effects. Wonderful, keep us updated. Uh, Francesca Romero, TV journalist. I know who you are. Vlad told me. I'm not exactly sure what's, what's going on here, but I'd, I'd really like to find out. I'm sure you would. Oh. 
You, you managed to hijack Air Force One and kidnap the U.S. president. I mean, that, that would make for a fantastic story. I never watch TV. Well, the world's media is just going to come down on you like the wrath of God. You need someone to counter that. Someone to play them at their own game. Are you offering to do our PR? I'm offering to tell your side of the story. We are not hiring at the moment. Take her outside, shoot her, throw her body down the mountain. Wait, wait, no, 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 hey, can you, please, please, can you wait? Please, can you please listen to me, just hold on one second, please, please. Where are the rest of my people? The ones who were flying with me? Are they okay? Do you have them here? That is no longer your concern. never negotiated with terrorists, and we're not starting now. Madam President? Yes. You were one hell of a fighter, Ms. Romero. <laughs> Madam President, Captain Fergus Markey, you and Peacekeeper, I came here to arrest Petrovich. Mr. Featherstone is helping me. Do you know what happened to the staff and crew of the Air Force One? I'm not sure, no. Okay. Captain Markey, tell me about this man, Petrovich. Petrovich was Arkady Dragutin's second in command during the Yugoslav War. 
Dr. Guten, the war criminal. Yes, my guess is he's the one running this operation from prison. Petrovich isn't smart enough. Oh, God damn it. That's what they want. An exchange of hostages, me for Draguten. Madam President, we've got to get you out of here before the alarm's raised. Once you got to a hawk, we have them. You are Featherstone. I sent the man to kill you. Why are you here? And the journalist. You killed Vladimir? We fought together. You have killed a very good man. Provide entertainment when he returns. Take them along, chain them. I am Lieutenant Milos Petrovich from the Army of Greater Serbia. It was my unit who captured Air Force One and crashed it into the sea. Oh, you will be pleased to know not everyone on board was killed. Harriet Roundtree, President of the United States. Alive and unhurt. 
Some of our greatest U.S. presidents have been murdered in office. It would be an honor to join them. Give these people nothing. So noble, so selfless. And she will need all this courage 12 hours from now when she is violated, then executed live on camera. It will be shocking and obscene and horrific. Release General Arkady Dragutin. Return him to Serbia to the coordinates we will give you and set him free. Then we will give you back your president unarmed. Upload the video. Send it straight to Washington. Its systems are hardened, firewalled, it's virtually invulnerable. What do you mean, virtually invulnerable? Sirs, you need to see this. Good morning. I am Lieutenant Milos Petrovich from the Army of Greater Serbia. Speak English? Just a little. It's a beautiful morning. Would it be possible to use your phone? I learn to English, television. What's new with you? <laughs> well, you, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. So, your phone? Phone. Mm. Come. Come in. Food. Yes. I make. Uh, phone. Phone. Phone, yeah. Mm. Thank you. Get me the minister on the phone immediately, would you? Hello, this is Gillian Barry here. Miss Barry, my name is Marky. I'm with your man in Serbia, Stephen Featherstone. We know where they've taken the president. Yes, thank you. We know someone's taken the president, and we have the matter in hand. No, 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 no. We know where they've taken the president. I know where she is. Listen to Tell me. the Americans we can have SAS units with them in two hours. Jay, Dragutin's men are holding her in a... Look, I don't know who you are or how you got this number, but we really are rather busy at the moment. I told you, your agent, Stephen Featherstone... Featherstone? My name is Fergus Look, I'm sorry, I really don't have time for this at the moment. It's urgent you trace... Ma'am? So, hello? Hello? Dragutin is my friend. Yeah. Hope your friend Marky's gone for help. It would be the rational thing to do. But... Fuck is not what you'd call rational. Good news. Your people have agreed to our terms. <laughs> or should I say they have pretended to agree to our terms? A lockpick? Standard journalist equipment? Colonel Palmer, United States Special Forces. Yeah, I'm ready.
Shall we? Can you? to Washington. We have cleared Serbian airspace. Thank you, Colonel. Five minutes to drop off. Christ! I thought Marky was a bad driver. Hey, do you know where they're taking round trip? The faintest idea. We better catch up then, huh? First part of the President's coordinates are coming through. The exchange will proceed as planned. Roger that, Washington. Family tradition. My mother taught me. How long have you been with the CIA? Before I change my mind. What's the other guy doing? He's laying mines. Shit. 
Oh, fields mine. Guten's DPS transponder is activated. Copy that, Washington. I have transponder contact. We're still getting a good signal from the transponder. 10 bar signal. Where is he going? Oh, Madam President, are you okay? Oh, yes. Yes. I'm oh. awfully glad to see you too. Feelings mutual. I do not have visual. Transponder signal breaking up. I've lost transponder contact. God damn it. That tree line. That's all I care about. What do you got? Connell Palmer, the last coordinates are through. The president is 8.6 miles due west of your current position. Received and understood. We are go for the president. Wait, 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 wait. Be careful. Okay. These? You see these? They're all mines. So we're gonna move very slowly. Okay? Okay, come on. Ready? Mm -hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa
Gun move. Okay. Ease your foot off slowly. Shit, it's gonna go. Go, 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 run! No point, she's dead. Shrapnel to the back of the head. Fine. Leave her. Come on. Go! Come on, come on, go, go, go! We have the president. I repeat, we have the president. My fellow Serbs, my friends, my heroes, my comrades in arms, Dragutin has returned. <laughs> no NATO prison could hold me. Today, the war for greater Serbia starts again. This time, we will exterminate the alien occupiers, every man, every woman, every child. We will rip the heart out of Europe. <laughs> You managed to get through to someone. Why don't you ask him yourself? Hey, how's it going? Oh, pretty great, yeah. Where's Roundtree? Did you get through to anyone? We have guests. Stephen Featherstone sent here for compromising British intelligence. You sent someone to kill me, and I would like to know why. A, a favor to an old friend. Look, General Dragutin, I'm, I'm just a reporter for Channel 7 no, no, Plus. No, 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 Mr. Mero, you're not. You are intelligence operative. Very good one. You think she's CIA? She is FSB. Russian spy. Moscow will bomb this place to shit and crush you like a cockroach. And I have more friends in the Kremlin than you do. You know, Britain and Russia are happy to let me rot in a pit. Allow me to extend the same courtesy to you. 
and Captain Marky. You stopped here, I think. Did I? What, what, what is this? Oh, never mind. I have a very special mission for you. Yeah, why don't you take your mission and shove up your ass? <laughs> okay, take them away. You know, during the war, we'd fill this pit with people, so they could not move. Not even when the rats came to feed on him. Enjoy your time together. It should take you 24 hours to die. Goodbye. Wait. Bitch. Bastards! Come back here, you bastards! When, when I'm out of here, I will track you down! Sir, we got him. Dragutin. Ten bar signal right where he disappeared the first time. Call the San Jacinto and tell them to launch. We are go for launch. Repeat, go for launch. We are locked onto target. Nato's dog, he got what he deserved. 